Hello, I'm Balkan. I'm a game designer in Merge Magic. Uh, my name is Can Çakmur and this is Bad Cat here. I am a product lead in Merge Magic. My name is Oğuz and I'm the senior developer of the project. I'm Andy and I'm director of development in this game. My name is Elvan and I'm working as a product manager for Merge Magic. Hi, my name is Elias Shai. I'm concept artist in Merge Magic project. I'm back. I'm working as a game developer on Merge Magic project. My name is Faruk. Uh, in Merge Magic team, uh, I'm responsible uh, creating uh, UI UX screens. Hi, my name is Ferit Enar. I am QA manager at Merge Magic. I am one of the QA manager at Gram Games and I'm responsible in the Merge Magic project. My name is Gray and I work as a generalist game artist in Merge Magic. Um, well, um, this is a larger project than any other I have ever worked on. One of the things that makes this game really different for me was that it was a sequel to a very, very successful title. We had a lot of creative freedom, but we also had some high expectations to live up to. This project is far bigger than the other projects I have ever worked on. It's because this game is played by millions of users, so we have to be careful while implementing new features. But it's also exciting at the same time since millions of people are reacting to the, reacting to the game we are doing, and it's amazing. It means that you need to keep lots of different edge cases on different devices and different uh, operation systems uh, with a different uh, gameplay style and uh, gameplay process. Since this project is quite large, there are lots of systems in the game and while changing one system, it's possible to affect other systems as well. So I have to be careful while implementing new features because I can break other stuff too. Well, um, it's really complex. I mean, it has a bunch of systems and a couple of programs worked on the project. I mean, a couple, when I say a couple, I mean like at least 10 developers and we have 10 different styles of development and 10 different styles of coding and the existing systems uh, need to exist with the current system, the new systems. And uh, this kind of creates a complexity because every new feature we develop has to work with other features that's already in. For example, um, we have um, we are working on a new feature and this new feature requires internet connection. But on the other hand, uh, the main basis of Merge Magic is that you can play it offline, but uh, we need to be online for this feature. So we need to find a way to be online and offline at the same time, or, well, um, make the game work while offline. So these kind of complexities uh, create uh, small issues, but we are an experienced team and we can overcome them, yeah. One of the things that's really interesting about this game is it looks very simple on the surface, but it's actually very complicated underneath. There's a lot of things that the player can do. They can collect, they can merge, they can even just play around like a sandbox. Actually, in our games, uh, most of features connected with each other. Uh, for example, um, daily chest is connected with the uh, uh, Mr. Egg feature or uh, level and screen connected with the uh, our chest room feature, etc. Uh, that kind of uh, relationships actually uh, makes the uh, UX wise a bit hard because you have to consider all the states in same time. Uh, A-B testing is a tool we are using, basically across Scrum, not only Merge Magic, uh, to basically understand if a feature we have been developing uh, is actually successful or not. Uh, there are other ways to see, like obviously see that. You can just plug it in and see if it makes any difference or not. Uh, but there are a couple of reasons why we don't do it that way. First of all, to be able to isolate the effect of the metric. Uh, the effect of the feature, I'm sorry, uh, from all the other stuff. A release we are doing usually consists of a bunch of different changes that we're doing. And when you release it out and see the difference, uh, you can't really know exactly which thing you have added or removed made the change, uh, or if anything in the industry has changed or not. Uh, so that specific metric have changed. Uh, A-B test thing gives us the ability to basically 
isolate everything else and just look at the change that met that feature you are implementing in the game gives. So we sometimes run some A-B tests. Uh, that means in terms of design, I come up with an idea and then uh, we want to see which uh, version of that idea performs better. So sometimes there are small uh, variances that we don't know, we can't be sure without testing it on uh, players. So uh, we make different variants and then uh, let's say 10,000 players uh, e see each variant and then we see which one is the most fun, which one is the most uh, understood and then uh, which will perform better. We use that one as uh, our winner and that gets put into the game. Uh, in fact, our base decision was improving our succeed core gameplay, which uh, we tried just optimizing all of the KPIs we had in the game before. So one of the most important KPIs was related to the uh, theme and art style and something like those. And uh, after this, some researches we find out the magical words and some uh, trend like that is really popular nowadays into the market. First of all, we gathered around with the team and made a research about the trending themes, trending topics in the industry when we started the project. Then uh, we created a couple of alternatives uh, and then we A-B tested them and the, the winner with the data, with the most clicks, uh, happens to be the winner and it turned out as much magic. So we first uh, did some sort of a market research. We looked at the other games, we looked at what is in the industry, like which teams are popular and we created a, basically a short list of stuff. Uh, was not that short actually, there were a lot of stuff, but we eliminated uh, some of them. And I think we have landed on three or four, I'm not quite sure what, exactly how many there was, uh, themes. And we have actually sat down and basically done a gameplay video of all the themes and basically just tested it out. Uh, because the idea was this, it doesn't matter if you like it or not, uh, a specific theme. Uh, the users at the end of the day is going to decide if they like it or not. And so we created some gameplay videos with the teams we have selected. We have done some marketing tests and depending on the numbers, uh, we have decided on which team we should go with. So how we decided to work on the game is kind of like this. Uh, we already have a very successful title, Merge Dragons, in the store uh, and there are a lot of companies uh, trying to clone and imitate the similar mechanics. Uh, we wanted to utilize our own mechanic first because at the end of the day we know how the economy should be working and how the game should be balanced. Uh, so we kind of had a like uh, head start in that sense compared to the other companies. Uh, we also had a lot of users that were asking for a similar game with a different theme. Uh, so that's why we started to make Emerge Magic. So how do I come up with uh, new features? So as a game designer, uh, I have always my eye on uh, the, all the features that are out there in terms of games, which performs better. We always uh, are actively looking at other stuff. Uh, and sometimes there are uh, good ideas that can be mixed matched or sometimes they just apply or I come up with an idea that I want to test. And uh, I create a, a high level document of it and then share it to the team and we all look at it and then if we think it will perform, uh, I make a total design around it. So basically uh, you need to uh, be creative, be uh, vigil, you have to look at uh, what's happening out there and then uh, think about how can I apply good ideas to my game. Before starting Merge Magic, uh, we decided to go with uh, Magic Team. Uh, Actually, uh, it was a bit challenging for me. Uh, I tried to uh, add some magical uh, assets in my UI. Actually, I want to. Uh, I want that the game looks like a bit uh, magical and also a bit foresty because we have uh, magical creatures in our game. Uh, we have fairies. We have 
butter elephant <gülüyor> mixture creatures or other crazy mixtures. Uh, for localization, we are working with an outsource company uh, for all the text needed to translate. Uh, In-house, I'm working with our designers to decide which text uh, should be in the game and which text needed to translate. And then I'm sending it to outsource localization team and then we need some proofreading before implementing all the things in the game. So the process is like smooth and going well right now since we got used to it. We translated all of the in-game texts and right now we are doing it for like all features, events and everything needed to translate. It's all like this. Right now uh, Merge Magic can be playable on both iOS, Android and Amazon as well. We are doing our best to add new features, new events, like to make people happy and engage more. I hope our players will like it and appreciate it. In Merge Magic there are lots of creatures and according to that we have lots of level and challenge with the garden features and according to that we are responsible to check all of the assets in the game. As a QA we are also responsible in the localization test and performance of the Merge Magic. So according to that we run lots of cases with the Merge Magic in itself. During the gameplay we have online and offline play modes and according to that events is just you can continue with the online and the other part of the game you continue with the offline and according to that we ha also have to manage those kind of tests with online and offline features. We also have the cloud save that works on online environment and you can also play multiple platforms like Android, iOS and Amazon.